at a time, guys. One at a time. <laughs> Stay safe, little buddy. <laughs> Look at that thing. <laughs> it's supposed to be one of the most rare fish that you can buy. We're gonna see what these fish look like. Let's see how big they are. Get a little close up to them really quick. Let's catch them up. Woo! With catch them all fishing with Zach. Ketchum. Look at this fish. Catch them up. We actually have a fish to put in here today that I got as a gift. I gotta put the, the polarized filter on because guys, this fish is so small but it gets so big and it's one of a kind. It's rare. I got it from Predatory Fins. He shipped it to me right after they delivered their baby. And I'm hoping that it's all that it's hyped up to be because it's supposed to be one of the most rare fish that you can buy. Perfect. Good. Those fish look super clear, and it's because I obviously put the Waterland sunglasses on them. Guys, you can get these at home, they're fashionable, they look great. Catch them 10, 10% 10 off, link below, guys. If I wanna go fishing, if I wanna just go outside and view my pond, if a guest comes over, grab Waterland sunglasses and get to viewing. Guys, one at a time. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, already trying to, trying to get a nip or two. But guys, we're feeding all these guys right here, and today, we do have a catfish. I'm gonna let you know it's a catfish. And apparently we got two of them. So one of them I'm gonna surprise a wild water barley with. See if he can raise them up. He does a great job raising fish. But I'm not sure where I can keep this guy. I do have one of my ponds available. But check this out. We gotta feed him. Definitely if we're gonna introduce another fish. Because these guys are absolutely ravenous. Here we go. <laughs> See, that'll be your finger. I don't even know if six inches will do it. The way these guys are so aggressive. <laughs> here, buddy. Here, here, honey. Here, go ahead. But look, you can see the arowanas get to everything first, but there is a couple catfish in here. Oh, watch out. There are a couple catfish in here. Check it out. Here he is. Ah, we just gotta fatten all the arowanas first because they're right at the surface. Come on, over here. Check them out. Look at this. Hi, baby. Oh, oh, look, he gets scared of the arowana. The good boy. Check it out. Come on. Come on up here. Don't be shy. Here he is. Oh, missed. Oh, oh. There you go. He's really fast. Come to the top. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. I'm trying to fatten him up, but I have to receive this package to see how big the fish are. Because all I know is that they're super rare, and apparently they're a pink, a pink type of catfish. Uh, I think it's some hybrid exotic, and we're gonna get it soon. It's gonna be delivered to us to our door by Predatory Fins. You know that's what they do. They have this online website, and they deliver these fish to your door. Even fish as big as these arowanas. We got one of these from Predatory Fins. So, I'm just hoping that he's not too small, but if he is too small, we're gonna have to figure out a way to keep this thing alive and grow it out until it's like as big as our other catfish. Check out everybody. I just want you to get this. This is the perfect time of day to see all these giant red tail catfish and how big all these fish actually get from this big to this big, literally, guys. Plus, we have our massive Shamu. How big she, look at this. Look at that monster swimming off. Almost as big as the red tails. Amazing, but we do have this one pond. Check it out. We do have this one pond I like to keep separate that does have a little bit of a grate if you want to come over here, but it's really for bigger fish that I keep that I kind of want to isolate and not be around the other fish. If a smaller catfish does, I'm gonna sneak under here if he's any smaller than that. And he's going right to the jaws of death. <laughs> and we don't want that, we do not want that. Look, look, you heard me. Look at the, all the red tails too. So a bunch of sharks basically and a giant Goliath grouper. So I do not want to sacrifice any really expensive catfish or anything exotic or anything at all that I'm keeping as a pet to uh, any of these fish. So we're gonna try to keep this guy alive best we can. We could technically put it in here if it's small, but these guys are actually ravenous. Hey, my babies. They always get scared of the camera, I don't know why. They're never scared of my hand, but always scared of the camera. Hey, they're coming up for you guys today. Hello, honeys. How are you doing? So these guys will actually pick the eyeballs out of any catfish or any predator just like by swarming them completely. So they're beautiful, but like I said, these guys are super aggressive. So the only thing that could really survive in here are Playcos, which is why I have them with their Playco friends. And I think that catfish would be okay in here, but just like anything else, even goldfish get predatory. And if the catfish are too small, those eyeballs are coming right out. 
Here we are, guys. The moment of truth. We're gonna see how big these things are now. Live fish. I don't do a lot of shipping stuff, you know. I mean, I do nowadays. I also have a couple more pretty expensive fish coming in, but I get sketched out if I don't see the product right in my hand. But if I'm gonna get fish from anyone, it's gonna be Rodrigo or my boy Fitz over there with the koi farm. So I can trust these guys to know that my fish are gonna come 100% healthy. I just gotta see how big they are. We're gonna see what these fish look like. Obviously, they're small. They're in a small box. Rodrigo said that they were gonna be kind of small. But I wasn't sure exactly how small because everything is small compared to Rodrigo's neck. No, I'm kidding. But uh, he has some big fish over there. Let's see how big they are. All right. Oh my God. Look at the coloration. Can you, can the camera even pick this up? I got the whole thing, dude. Oh my God. That's nice and, is that pink? They're literally pink. These are red tails. These are red tail catfish. Well, I gotta take them out of here. These are some of the most beautiful fish I've ever seen. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out. They're both exactly the same fish. Now check this out. Oh my goodness gracious. Perfect size bowl. Get in there. Oh my God. God, look at that thing. Now, I've heard of platinum red tails before, but this is something I have never seen. This is like almost a translucent fish. I would like to pick them up and see the sides of them, but you know what? We can see on Farley's, look at the side of them. The line is actually white. Can you guys see that? White and pink. Yeah, so the rest of the red tail is pink and the line, the lateral line, is actually white on this fish. That's insane. That is ridiculous. This is insane. Let's see. I don't want to stress him out too much. But that is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I just want to show you his side without it being in the bag. Look at that. Look at that on the side. Get low, get low. Get low and you'll be able to see him. That is ridiculous. A little bit tricky, but we're gonna get you back in your bag, buddy, so we can acclimate you properly. Whoop! Oh, 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 oh. Guess it wasn't that tricky. <laughs> wow, what a fish. What a fish. Now we're gonna get one over to Wildwater Farley and figure out what we're gonna do to keep this fish perfect. All right, buddy, well, he's gonna have this whole pond to himself. Normally it's a holding pond, but hey, this thing is super unique. So what I did is I designed something that I could plug this up without putting holes in it because if you staple down here below the water line, there's going to be holes. So uh, unfortunately, I don't want to drain out this pond and then put a little bit of extra caulking or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plug this up temporarily because normally the fish that are in here are really big, but this guy's super small. So what I did is I zip tied this after I super glued it, so this is one piece, super sturdy, bomb, bomb, good to go. So now, I'm just gonna go ahead and insert it here like a Lego, and then I should be able to just keep it secure enough that that little fish won't escape. <laughs> Hopefully, that's the plan, because if he gets through here, he's going straight into Valhalla. My boy's going straight into the jaws of death Shambu is literally sitting here waiting to come and eat. Look at this thing. And soon she's gonna be so trained that as soon as she sees me, she's just gonna be jumping, going airborne. I cannot wait, stay tuned for that, guys. It should be just hot enough that it should stay like that. I think we're good to go. See how these have little holes? They're very, very special. That makes screwing in a little tiny screw like this or a Tapcon two seconds. Ah. Gotta be prepared for everything when you have a bunch of fish, a bunch of animals of any kind. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna screw this in just like that. And instead of being on top, screw it in behind. Over here, really quick. That's gonna be that. Bomb. Just like that. I'm gonna put a second one. Come on over here. Check this out. 
that is not going anywhere guys amazing solid don't have to glue don't have to put any holes inside of my liner and we are good to go for that red tail and that's that this is super secure now we are good to go on either side we are good nice and taut and if we want to tighten it even more we could pull this and make it even tighter but there's no way it can get tighter or more secure that red tail is going to stay in this pond until i deem it big enough to hang out with the big boys back here those guys are giant so i'm just going to cut these off make everything look nice and clean and that'll be that actually you know what let me get a little closer than that and that's going to be that guys we are good to go we are good to go we are good so now our red tails right here Look, trying to swim upstream already. Hello, honey. It's time to release them to the big pond. All right. It's been acclimating here for about 45 minutes. Let's see, Let's see how he does, guys. All right. There he is. One shot, one time. A ridiculous fish. Just insane. How beautiful. Ooh, see you later. See you later, buddy. Big, big water for you. <laughs> Just insane, guys. So I hope you enjoy this episode, guys. Don't forget, cop your shades, polarized lenses. You can see into the water. Crystal clear, cuts through it. These are honestly, I can honestly say, without a doubt in my mind, these are the best glasses I've ever had in my life. Use code CATCHEM10 for the Waterland sunglasses. The link is in the description below. And the link to get this beautiful catfish is also gonna be in the description below because I just found it for you guys. This is not an ad, this is nothing like that. But that catfish is beautiful. I, I'm sure you guys want it at home. He's down there in the corner. I'm not sure if you can see him. He's over there actually. I think you might be able to see him. Yeah, that thing is gorgeous. So he's just big enough that we'll easily be able to find him in the pond and we're good to go guys. Secure so he doesn't go into the ring of death right behind us. Stay tuned and see how big he gets, guys. We're gonna give Farley his catfish and catch him all. Catch him all. Stay safe, little buddy. Stay safe, little buddy. <laughs> Look at that thing. Catch him all. Woo! Catch him all.